Do you know that pregame, there's a hitters meeting, there's a pitchers meeting, and there are notes on the board. When there is a player, a any player, whether it's a highly touted prospect or someone who is called up for your team or the opposing team, both teams are aware when there is a milestone possible in that game. Umpires are aware if there's a milestone in that game. Don't believe when an umpire tells you, oh, I had no idea. He had a hit streak. That's why I called strike three. I didn't realize he had a hit streak. I would have called it a ball. Let him stay in the at-bat. It's a bunch of horse hockey. Pete Alonso absolutely knew that Mason Wynn had been called up and did not have a major league hit. The unwritten rule in baseball is very simple and it's always followed. When there's a milestone, the ball is given to the player who got the milestone, unless the ball ends up in the stands with a fan. And then the home team, if it's a road player who got the milestone, its job, as it was mine with Ken Griffey's 600th home run, is to go try to negotiate and get the ball back. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, sometimes you get the ball back, sometimes you don't. Everybody on the field and in the front office is aware, hey, three strikeouts and he will have 200 Ks for the season. We'll pull that ball. This will be his 50th stolen base and he will be a 50-50 player. We pull the bag. If it's Acuna who gets his 50th steal and 50th home run, we're pulling the bag. If he already has 50 home runs. I think you get my point. We all know. Pete Alonso gets the ball from his first hit and rifles it into the stands. Cardinals go crazy. I'm looking at the game saying this can't be true. There's no way Pete Alonso just did that. This is about to be a story and a story it was and it lasted all weekend long. So much so that Pete Alonso not only had to make an apology, he also had to get Mason Wynn some tequila and an autograph bat. I wasn't too keen on the autograph bat situation. Players exchange autograph bats and jerseys all the time. Players ask other players for balls. There are the clubbies go back and forth. There was only one player in my career who I came across who would not sign for another player unless that player directly asked him. And that's Barry Bonds. You know it's true, Barry. You made visiting players actually come up and ask when they wanted your jersey. Most players, the club he walks over and says, hey, John Cocktoast on the other team wants your jersey. Great, no problem. Da -da -da -da, sign, give it to the clubby. Clubby walks over to the home side or the visiting side and it's done. It happens every single day. It doesn't happen with the cameras like the Dwayne Wade jersey shuffle, jersey swap, but it happens every day. So an autographed bat as a present, bottle of tequila, it's fine. All's well that ends well. Mason got the ball back. But the question that everyone was asking is did Pete Alonso do that on purpose? You could be the biggest turd in baseball, which Pete Alonso is not. The number one, and you don't throw Mason Wynn's first hit into the stands. It's not even a question. So for everyone out there who is saying that Pete Alonso did it on purpose, you're just flat out wrong. He called it a brain fart. And I got to tell you, that's exactly what it is. And I get it. It happens. Not often, but it happens. So for all of you people all over Pete Alonso, there's a lot of reasons to be all over the Mets, to say the least. This is not one of them.